Hi guys, it's 7 o'clock in the morning. I'm here on a company trip in the Bavarian Alps and last night it came to me and by the way, it's super freezing. I'm super tired. Does gear matter? So look guys, honestly, I think gear really matters and if you look at what I'm using, I'm using the Canon EOS R right now, which is a full frame camera and once you use the full frame camera, you just can't go back. Look at this behind me. This is just gorgeous and I wouldn't want to use a mobile phone for this. So what you guys probably don't know, I recently switched from Sony to Canon and that is purely based on the usability factor more than anything. I just felt more comfortable. I tried a Canon once and I felt more comfortable using it. So that's one of the reasons why I just switched. Um, I'm not into that many specs if you like, but I just do like the usability factor. And when you watch my other videos, it always shows that I'm using a Canon M50 or M50 when traveling on long distance, which is true. Uh, you should choose the gear, the camera gear, that you feel comfortable with, that you enjoy using. That's very important to me. You don't want to use something, or I don't, personally don't want to use something that I don't enjoy. And I enjoy using the Canon, I enjoy the menu, I enjoy the outcome of it, and that's that's great. Um, I love that. And whilst I stocked up on the Canon lineup, I have the EOS M50, I have a GoPro, I have the Canon EOS R, I also have a Pixel phone, I have my smartphone for uh, pictures, the Pixel 3. I accommodate the situation. So if there's a situation I use my Pixel phone, I use a smartphone video, that's gonna be it. If you do a uh, product video for example you do product shots or whatever that may be you will want to have good quality showing you guys what it is your review right 500 meter geradeaus fahren und der a 95 folgen So look, honestly, when I can, I take my Canon EOS M50 on, and that's only for long distance travel. I also make sure that when I have a scenery like this, I'm using a full frame camera or the best possible equipment I have. And in this case, it is just the full frame camera. And again, once you had a full frame camera, you just can't go back. So now this is just a comparison. I'm just doing this with my Pixel 3. I'm trying to stay in focus. The audio is probably not as good because I'm using an external mic on my full frame camera. Look, if there is a snapshot to be done, this can be done by the smartphone. There is no doubt about it. If you're a travel vlogger, then you obviously want something that is light, that is slim, that is also producing good results. Look, at the end of the day, it really depends on your needs and what you need doing. But guys, really, when you have a talent, focus on that talent, whether that be you are a really good vlogger, you are good at editing, and I think that you should invest exactly in what you're good at. There's no point, I can't paint. I can't, just can't paint whatsoever. There's no point me investing in classes that make me great in painting because I will never be able to paint a good picture. That's just not what I can do. Some people have different qualities in life. So focus on what it is you're good at. If you are good on editing, focus on a good editing software. Focus on hardware that make you the best editor if you're good at movies if you're good at filming make sure you have that all nailed and if you are really into your movie style of film make sure you invest in that because again once you find what you're good at invest in that and that's why i see gear really matters it's not just camera gear it's hardware gear it's also editing software as i said before anything that makes you stand out out of the crowd focus on it and invest in that and that's why i personally say gear matters so look guys i'm using the smartphone i'm using a pixel 3 for all my thumbnails and I think it's great for any pictures you do uh, but I think that any device you have has a place somewhere I don't think the video quality on any smartphone is just good enough yet but we probably get there at one point point. and you know what the side effect is when you are investing in what you're good at you have fun you have loads of fun and once you have fun you really enjoy what you're doing and you will accelerate automatically invest in the right stuff invest in the right gear 100% gear does matter and guys, by no means do I want to encourage anybody to go out and just buy expensive stuff. A camera is just as good as the person who is using it. There is no doubt. Invest in yourself in any way you can, whether this be a physical activity, taking classes, learning something new online or buying equipment that will help you accelerate your dreams. Find your passion, take it to the next level. This is the only way to stand out in life and having fun at the same time. Therefore, my take is that gear matters. Jens here from All Star Space. Thank you for watching. See you next time.